I'm hanging out backstage here at Wine Country Fair with the lovely Leah Daniels. Leah, you killed it out there. Congratulations. Thank you. They, it was so much fun. It was like the perfect evening for this. Well, we are super pumped to have you here at Wine Country Fair. Year number two, what was the crowd like? Amazing. They were energetic, and I think they're just here for a good time. I think the wine was flowing. <laughs> the wine is always flowing here at Peller Estates. That is definitely true. Now, I want to congratulate you. Let's let's go back to May. I know it's it's August, but let's go back to May. Congratulate you on Rising Star Award at the CMAOs. That's so exciting. What was that like? It was, well, I mean, you don't expect that at all. I didn't expect it. So when they called my name, I was like, <gasps> oh, my goodness. Now I have to get up and actually say something. What? It was a total surprise, but it was just an honor to kind of be recognized for that. So it was very exciting. Well, congratulations on that. Now, you've also been nominated for two CCMAs, which is pretty incredible. Where were you when you heard the news? Oh, I was at my house. <laughs> Yeah. And it was cool early. It was in the morning. I think I got some texts, and I was like, "Oh my goodness!" Because I had a, I was think I had a show the night before, so I was up yeah, late, yeah. and I kind of woke up to the news. So it was the best way to wake up ever, and I was just over the moon. It was so exciting. I can't wait. Well, that is awesome. We wish you best of luck with that. In just a couple of weeks, the CCMAs are happening in Halifax. Now let's talk about your current single. I know you wrote it with the beautiful Patricia Conroy and Beverly Mahood. Um, let's talk about the story behind that and how that came to be and, and what it was like writing with those two women. It was amazing. I mean, they are two just Canadian icons. They are, I, I'm, I'm fans of them both. So to be in the same room as them when we were writing this song was just amazing and, you know, kind of nerve wracking too, mm -hmm. you know. And But we came up with this, I, I think it's one of my favorite songs on my new no album. Way. Yeah, and it's just, it's beautiful. And the way that it organically happened, it was just it, one afternoon, we wrote it in Nashville and um, I had my piano, Patricia was playing her guitar and it's just, it's a song, um, you know, about about missing someone and for me it's that moment before bed when you're trying to go to sleep and you can't because you're thinking about gotcha. either that another mm -hmm. person or just something's on your brain I think we all can relate with that and it's Absolutely. just that like that moment so yeah I, I'm excited and the video is out for that song and it's it's I'm just I'm really proud of it and the song we were talking about is dream without you I probably yes. should have mentioned that <laughs> right. beforehand it is an awesome song and fans be sure to check it out if you haven't yet heard it although it's all over the radio wave so I can't imagine why you haven't. Um, another song that was all over the radio waves and, and still is, is Go Back, yes. which is a pretty incredible song and I think that's relatable to a lot of people as well. Does that story hit kind of close to home for you? Well, yeah. <laughs> funny you should say that. You know, I really do try to write things that I uh, write about things that I've experienced, yeah, and of then course. because that's what I I'm going to relate to, and that's kind of I feel like my job as an artist is to like uh, sing songs that people can relate to mm -hmm. and that I've experienced. So yeah, go back is uh, completely different from Dream, with Dream Without You, but it's something that I think we uh, it's it's that you know you're with someone and there's another person getting a little bit close to your your person, and you just gotcha. want to say back off you know and you know maybe I think maybe some of us have been on both sides of that story but it's definitely very relatable and um, it's a lot of fun to sing oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. instead of saying you know back off you're saying go back to where you came from which yeah, is exactly just as strong and, and significant for sure um, great tune now if fans want to connect with you and catch another Leah Daniels show how can they do that yeah the best way is on my website I'm, I update all my shows and then of course I'm on Facebook mm -hmm. and Twitter and YouTube I'm always posting videos cool. there behind the scenes stuff at shows so that's a lot of fun so you can check that out amazing well Leah thank you so much for being here you put on an amazing show I know the fans here at Peller really enjoyed it and uh, best of luck with the CCMAs in thank a couple you. weeks thank you so much <laughs>